How's it going everybody? I wanted to make another Resident Evil 2 video for anyone who's having issues with the Prey Dog VR mod. So I'm going to try to keep this straight to the point, not long at all. Um, I will pause as needed. So first of all, to get the best performance, I highly recommend everyone use this. The Open VR FSR thing by um, uh, F Holger. Okay, it's a great thing. It's like AMD fidelity effects or something. I forget exactly what it is. It works for all video cards. Um, he made this and he made the VR performance toolkit as well. These are life changing uh, as far as performance stuff goes. So let me explain why. All right, hold on. Let me find the windows here. Okay. So first of all, all you got to do is open up the zip file that you download and you're going to copy these three files and you're just going to paste them right into your Resident Evil 2 game folder, which is on the right side of the screen here. And then you're going to open up this zip file and you're going to copy all of this and you're going to paste it into the um, Resident Evil 2 uh, game folder. As you can see, everything is there now. Um, the, the performance boost is just amazing. Like you get steady high frame rates. It's, it's just good. So the video that I made last night, I wasn't getting good performance because this stuff wasn't installed. Um, now it is, and it's great. All right. So hold on. I'm navigating OBS. I'm doing all of this in VR. So it's a little bit, a little bit confusing. So bear with me here. Yeah. So these two things are essential. Get them. The link is below. Now, um, second thing, if you're run running into the um, eye issue where if you close one eye, you see the body, you see your hands and arms, and if you close the other eye, you don't, all right? It it's like a ghost image. It's because you're playing as Leon. Don't play as Leon. It's a known issue. They don't know how to fix it. Play as Claire instead, and that issue will not be there. Now, um... All right, let me go. Hold on. Just trying to navigate again. All right, let's see. Okay. So in this Resident Evil um, game folder, this thing uh, right here, RE2 underscore FW config, um, or FW underscore config dot TXT. When I click it, it's going to show a preview on uh, the right side here. And it might be cut off. Let me look at the OBS thing. Yes, it is. That's okay. All right. Let me see if I could move this window over. Hold on. Just doing all of this kind of on the fly. All right. Um, let's see. So you're going to see this preview. Hold on. I got so many windows that are just like fighting me to the death. All right, let me get the hell, let me get that the hell out of the way. All right, there we go. Nope. Nope. I'll get this. There we go. All right, so when this is highlighted, you see the preview on the right side of the screen. This line inside this text document, first person enabled, normally says uh, equals false. All you got to do is change the word false to say true. Save the file. Don't save as. Just like double click it. It'll open in notepad. Change that line right there. First person underscore enabled equals. It normally says false. Change it to true. Save. This way, you're automatically in first person the very first time you start the game. Don't futz with the menu. It's too much of a pain in the ass. It's annoying as hell. It will drive you crazy. All right, I'm just hitting undo here. Trying to get back to the original view. Hold on. Come on, OBS. Come on. There we go. All right, so again, start with these. Change that line to say true in the text document. Now, you're going to just immediately get much better performance, okay? So now we're going to go into the game, and this is pretty much how I set the options, and it was playing phenomenally after I shot that video. So let me make sure it is covering the entire screen here. 
That's good. Okay. God, OBS is really tricky to navigate when you're using touch controllers instead of a mouse and a keyboard. All right. So, I'm in VR. Start game. I've saved a bunch of times. Um, yeah, cool. Fine. I have all these saves. Hang on. Oh, it's okay. It's just going to... Uh, start me from here. So I'm in this uh, police station still, and I I keep getting killed. Yeah, I suck. It's fine. But right now, wherever I go, it's a solid 72 frames per second, which is what my headset is set to by default. It's set to 72 hertz. I should mess with 90, but I've had issues with 90 when I'm playing Fallout 4 VR. It's a lot more stable when I'm running 72. Um... And I play that game a lot. So, but anyway, all of this is rock solid. Okay. All right. I already killed those fuckers. So that's good. Look at that ugly bastard. God, the face. Oh my God. All right. So I'm walking up the stairs. I have no issues at all. I don't want to wake that bitch up because I don't remember if I killed her or not. There's a, yeah, I'm just, I'm just testing performance. So this is awesome. 72, the latency is good. I have no orange numbers with my virtual desktop overlay. Everything is white. Everything is clean. Okay, it dropped to 69 there. Probably because of the rain. All of this is awesome. It's just performing phenomenally. A uh, little bit of a drop. I'm getting some latency here. You know, whatever. That's fine. Uh, also, <laughs> that glitched out. Apparently, I have no head. Um, I don't know what's up with that, but that's fine. I'll figure that out later. Great performance across the board. Now, the only thing I hate is when you run, it kind of wobbles like back and forth. I don't know if any of you are experiencing that issue. It just seems really wobbly. I think it's a part in options called camera wobble, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try to, uh, disable that. So hang tight. All right, camera, camera wobble off, save, return. I don't think that's gonna make a difference. Yeah, I'm still wobbling. I don't understand why that is. Maybe that's a game thing. But anyway, in general, the performance is amazing. So let's go over uh, what the options are set to. So I started with before I started the game, you could open up the options and you could use a preset. I started with the performance preset, uh, like like best performance. So it removed a lot of the crap. So let's take a look at what I have. Now, first of all, resolution, 1440 by 900. So I'm capturing footage, but it's not at 1920 by 1080 because that is a big performance hit. If you, if you have this at 1440 by 900, you can get a pretty good um, video capture in OBS without, you know, hitting the performance. You could also knock this all the way down to 640 by 480, but that's only good for playing, not for uh, recording gameplay. All right, for the record. But this is about the best resolution you can get where the video looks good in OBS. And I'm um, for the record, I'm using the Open VR input plugin for OBS, which is awesome. It just captures uh, one eye. Uh, Fallout 4 VR is how I uh, capture the gameplay with that because it always looks great. Um, even though it's like a square image on the screen, it, it shows up widescreen. It's dope. So that uh, set that, you know, again, it doesn't affect the gameplay as much as 1920 by 1080 on the desktop. This still looks good on the desktop and in the headset, it looks identical no matter what you do. All right. So now um, everything else is default, ultra quality with the fidelity FX, refresh rate 60. I set this to 60 instead of variable. V-Sync off, because I don't have a V-Sync monitor, number one. And I think uh, from what Prey Dog wrote in the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions page, um, it's, I think that's just uh, doesn't work. Uh, I don't know. Again, I don't know enough about it to understand it all. All right, anti-aliasing. A lot of people recommend SMAA. Instead of uh, TAA plus FXAA, which I think is the default. So looks good. I haven't tried the others. Texture quality low. Looks Everything looks fine in the headset. Texture filter quality uh, times four. Mesh quality. 
Oh, actually, no, no, no. I don't, I don't normally have this on low. I have it set to medium, but low looks awesome and I'm getting great performance. So I'm going to leave it on low. Mesh quality max, shadow quality high. You could obviously fuck with the shadows if you want. Shadow cache on, contact shadows off, screen space reflections off, subsurface scattering off, volumetric lighting quality low, particle lighting low, ambient occlusion off, bloom on. I like bloom. Lens flare off, motion blur off. That's only for the cinematics, I believe. Depth of field. I, um, I like the depth of field on. And, and th- again, that, that's when I selected the performance preset, it keeps it on. I like the blurred background in the cinematics. It's, it's great. Lens distortion off and film noise off. Okay. So set everything to that. And that should definitely help. Now, regarding mods, there's a few mods that I installed as recommended on the Prey Dog uh, Frequently Asked Questions. It's that website, like beatsaber.notion.site. Is that the site name? Let me switch over to Chrome just to be sure. I'll link it below as well. Hang on one sec. I have it open. Uh, okay. Right. It's beatsaber.notion.site. And I guess it's B-Saber related, but there, there, there's a frequently asked questions hosted on there. So uh, about halfway down the page, it says to use some mods. It says smooth locomotion for RE2 stabilizes the root bone in all walking animations for proper uh, first person shooter style movement. This mod allows you to walk, run and strafe at a constant speed. Yes. Very awesome. I found everything just runs and looks better. It's awesome. They also have the same thing for Resident Evil 3. And then there's an HD texture pack. Um, I installed that mod. Uh, there's Oculus Touch button prompts for Resident Evil 2 and 3. I installed that mod. Uh, Oculus Touch... Oh, oh that's for uh, 7 and 8. And then there's also... I think that's it. And, yeah. So... Do what it says on the frequent, frequently asked questions on this page. It's very, very important. Um, but yeah, and, and also, as I mentioned in the other video, when you first download, download this from Steam, it's going to be the Resident Evil 2 version with uh, ray tracing enabled. So you need to download re2.zip. Now, uh, speaking of that, hang on, let me switch back to... Uh, Hang on, I'm just trying to navigate everything. Okay, so here's... Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Hold on. Right, yeah, let me, just, let me just go into the mods here. Okay. Right here. Okay, so when you first open... Uh, wait, wait, hold on. I gotta show, make sure OBS is seeing this. There we go. Okay. When you first open the re2.zip... It looks exactly like this. Copy these five files into your game folder. Don't copy this folder into the game folder. Copy what's inside it and paste that into the game folder. Okay. For some reason, the file structure is weird in the zip file. And I don't, I don't think it'll work if it's, if it's not that specific thing. Now that said, if you look at my game folder, you can see that it creates a folder in there, I guess when you run the game for the first time, but notice how there's actually nothing in here. It's just kind of like a dummy folder. I don't understand, but that that inside the RE framework, that's you, you need to paste that exactly like that, but that's going to show up automatically, okay? Don't worry about that. It's just some weird thing. So everything else is installed and... Um, what else was I going to say? I forget. Um, I, I tried Resident Evil 3 a little bit last night. Uh, it was performing pretty poorly. But the reason why is because I didn't have that... Um, I didn't have the... Uh, uh, oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm just like like trying to navigate everything that I'm doing here. It's ADHD. Um, I didn't have the, the Fidelity FX. The F Holder mod. You know, that, that makes the game perform a lot better. I did not have that running, so that was definitely an issue. All right, uh, hold on one second. Why is it? Uh, why is it doing this? Why is it sharing the window all of a sudden? Uh, um, let's see. Hold on. Come on, go to the other window. There we go. Okay, back to the game. All right, there we go. Whew. So yeah, I tried to make this as as uh, you know 
not babbly as possible. I try to get to the point with everything that I discovered. So definitely install the smooth locomotion mods, even though the camera does wobble when you run. I don't know why that is. I really have no idea. It's just there's a wobble. Like a, uh, uh, uh. It's, it, lo it looks like as you run, it, lo it looks like this. I don't know. Most people don't run like that. I mean, maybe I'm crazy. I've never really seen people run and wobble that much. But who knows? I mean, it's tough to uh, study and think about and analyze shit like this when you're playing virtual reality. Um, all right. So again, solid 72, which is awesome. No issues whatsoever. Um, there's a mod where you can have the flashlight automatically like on your head or whatever. I like holding it. I like having total control over, over the direction and everything. I'm one of the, I guess, in the minority. I A lot of people just like the flashlight on your head, but I love holding it like this. It feels so cool. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. As I learn more and more about Resident Evil 2 and 3, the mods, I will definitely um, make more videos, but I wanted to get one that was straight to the point, a little um, uh, less babbly than the video from last night. I might delete that video, but uh, this is definitely the updated video where everything is just going to make a lot more sense. Do everything on the Frequently Asked Questions page. And, and by the way, um, the, I'm on a Quest 2 through Virtual Desktop, as I've mentioned in a bunch of videos. Um, virtual Desktop does not work with the Open XR plugin. Okay, it just doesn't work with it. You have to play through AirLink if you're going to play wirelessly, so keep that in mind. I'm using the Open VR, you know, again, the F Holger uh, uh, framework, whatever that is. But if you're a virtual desktop user, you cannot use OpenXR. It just doesn't work. I think there's a workaround if you install it per game instead of uh, system wide. But don't, uh, I, I wouldn't fuck with it. I've had nothing but issues with that. I know it's great that it bypasses Steam VR, um, but virtual desktop needs Steam VR. So I just could not get it to work. And I, I'm not a huge fan of AirLink, though I will do a test comparing both just to, just to see how everything performs. Um, but you know, uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. So i again, I hope you found this video helpful. I'm going to upload this and then I'm going to go to bed, but, uh, thanks so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. Stay safe, stay healthy, be kind, always pay it forward. I will see you in the next video. Thanks again.